The owner of a pit bull that was shot and killed after getting loose is speaking out. We first told you about the pit bull attack last week. The dog was shot after he pounced on a young mother. The incident left her with a lot of bites and put her in a cast. Ten on your side's Aisha Tolliver is in our newsroom now. Aisha, what did he say? Well, the dog owner, Kai, reached out to Ten on Your Side because he wanted to tell his side of the story. He believes the death of his almost two-year-old pup, King, could have been prevented. I only had him a month. And he was a really good dog. And everybody saw me walk this dog up and down the street every day. I walk him around the block. Everybody loves my dog. This is King. He was shot and killed after police say he pounced on a woman who lived next door. Last week, another neighbor, Jarrett Young, told Ten on Your Side he used his handgun to fight off the dog. Officials say it all happened around noon on Chestnut Street in Suffolk. Michaela Clark says she was outside when her neighbor's dog got loose from an unlocked gate. Together, Clark and Young tried to lure the dog into a choke collar, but that's when he attacked. The dog's owner, Kai, says Young was his friend and that he didn't have to take matters into his own hands. I mean, they could have easily knocked on my door because everybody right here knows which apartment I stay in, and they could have easily just knocked on my door hey, look. The dog is outside. Come and get him. Kai says Clark told him the dog went back and forth in his yard four times before biting her. So he believes his girlfriend, who was home at the time, would have had time to put him inside the fence before he attacked. I would have been able to have my dog right now, but he chose to kill my dog out of cold blood. Kai says he's still not sure how he got out because he would have had to slide out of his collar, which fits snug. He also wants everyone to know he's not a bad dog owner and that the dog was given food three times a day and always had water in his bowl. I'm still coping with it because he was so young, you know, and the dog wasn't even two yet. So, you know, I'm still kind of coping with it just a little bit. Now, Clark told 10 on your side that Kai was aggressive when he approached her after the shooting. Kai admits he was carrying a plank of wood when he approached Young and her a few hours later, but he says he didn't plan on having to use it. He just wanted it to protect himself when confronting Young because he knew he had a gun. Last week, Clark said she was going to press charges, but Kai says that hasn't happened yet. In the newsroom, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.